Hello and welcome to this video which covers the basics on using the Genesis formula which will look at activating the solution in the bottles, mixing them correctly and pH balancing your feed before you give it to your plants. Activation. So what we've done is we've got a pre-boiled kettle. So this is boiling water going into the bottle right now. And we're going to fill it up to around about the halfway mark. It doesn't need to be exact, just general. About there would do. And then what this will do is give you enough liquid to allow the mush to dissolve the bottom of the bottle and give enough space to get a really good mix so everything's really mixed thoroughly. And the whole solution at the bottom is completely dissolved with the liquid. So we're going to repeat what we did with the other bottle, the other two bottles. So halfway again, giving a really good shake, making sure that mush is completely dissolved in the bottom. Again, exactly the same as the other two bottles, just fill it halfway up boiling water and give it a really good shake. At this stage it's a good idea to maybe start checking the base of the bottle because once the base gets really really hot that's when you know that all the mush has been dissolved and everything is mixed up properly. You can see they're just trying, just having a little feel and making sure it's getting hot, seeing how hot it is. So after that bottle, go through the other two bottles, making sure everything's just as well mixed up. So fill the bases. You know when they're really hot, that's when you know you're done. Now everything's all mixed up. Just go through all the bottles again, and then topping them up with hot water. This will give you a full bottle of completely fresh feed. So when filling up your bottle, don't be shy, fill it all the way up to the top, so you see you've got a good amount of feed there. Then just repeat the process with the other two bottles.
So that's it, all three bottles done. We've got micro base, grow and bloom. So next we're going to look at how to mix them effectively to get the most out of your plants. The genesis differs from other feeds because you use all three in conjunction with one another rather than them at separate times. So we're going to look at that now and how to achieve the correct EC levels. Mixing. This is our genesis feed chart. So it's a full 13 week growth cycle and we are going to show you how to mix up week one. So we need, looking at this one here, so we need four mil of each of the solutions, so micro base, grow and bloom, and this will give us an EC range of 0.6 if you were starting from a completely neutral EC reading. Although EC in your water differs from region to region, in Leicester, which is the East Midlands, it will already start on a 0.6, so it's important to check your water first before you add any nutrient so you know where you're starting from. We've got 10 litres of water in there, and we're going to check it first, to make sure we're on what we say we're on. And then we're going to go through and add our nutrient to the water. This is very important. You don't want to put your nutrients and then the water, as this will create a chemical reaction with the nutrients and they won't work. We've measured 4 mil of the micro base and that's going in. And we're going to measure 4 mil of the grow nutrient as well. And then put that in the bucket too. And the same with the grow nutrient. We put them all in together and they work in conjunction with each other. And it's a much more specialist feed for your plant. So you can really tailor you know, what the plant needs at what stages it wants it. And really give it what it wants. got four mil of the grow nutrient going in at the lastly so let's make sure it's all in there and all clear and then we're just going to mix that through with our truncheon and then check the EC on that there we are we've got an EC of 1.2 which is perfect first week of our cycle The last thing we're going to cover is pH balancing the feed. Now we've got it all mixed up and ready to use, we just need to get the correct pH and then we can start feeding it to the plants. So we do an initial test and this will give us our base pH in what we're working with at the minute. Press hold. There we've got a reading of 7.2 which is far too high. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some pH down on, to our feed. When putting in pH down, there's no accurate oh. measurement. You just have to kind of try it out. Oh. We're putting half a mil in there, and we're going to mix it through. You know, it's important to leave it a while to set. So we've left it about five minutes after we've mixed it in before checking our pH on, again. Then. You know, it just lets it settle down and balance out. So we're going to try it again with our pH pen and hopefully that should give us our perfect pH. Oh, the bottle. There we have it, 5.6, perfect pH to start feeding our plants. Thanks very much for watching and enjoy.